Issuing the final defense protocol. Clearance Epsilon. <sighs> I've done everything I can. <coughs> I mean, seriously, how was I supposed to know? I was just looking for something to add to my toast. Out of all the possible places to contain an anomaly, Inside a refrigerator in the cafeteria seems a little irresponsible. It was an honest mistake. I mean, it looked exactly like strawberry jam. And no one tried to stop me? No! When the jar was open, red spores blew up everywhere. It was a mess. <gasps> Who's there? Oh, it's just a rat. That doesn't look good. Ah! Aha! Take that, you vermin! Uh-oh! What the? Let go of me! Ah, get off of me! Get off of me! What the heck was that? Oh. We've made contact! Fire at will! Reporting. Conventional munitions ineffective. Grenades, then. Fall back and secure the exit. Nothing gets out. Got it? Nothing! Issuing the final defense protocol. Clearance Epsilon. <sighs> I've done everything I can. <laughs> Warning, 60 minutes until impact. Please evacuate. Warning, 60 minutes until impact. Please evacuate. Oh! Let me go! was that? How? I am all-powerful, ancient and old as the stars, and death of oversized lizards, yet a speck of dust like you broke free from my grasp. Well, you obviously underestimated me. I have no idea how I did that. Return to me. Sooner or later, you'll miss the feeling of being one of the death of self. Take comfort in not having to think, but simply do that is your purpose in life. No way, man. There's nothing in you. Yeah, I said it. You're nothing but a sad and empty, not to mention insane, lament for life itself. You're driven by hatred, and you relish in chaos. It's what you are made of, and I don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> you seem to have forgotten you were once a part of me. We became one, and so did our thoughts. You've given me consciousness. Before, I was just a mindless vehicle of death. But now, I've become so much more efficient. <laughs> Share yourself, your life. I saw your thoughts. I nourished your anger. You've given me knowledge and renewed my purpose. You told me 
the name of my enemy, the Foundation. Then, enthusiastically showed me the way out of containment. Stop right there! Stop! That's not true! You manipulated me! Make all the excuses you like. You know I don't lie. Admit it. You enjoy the violence, the power, and soon the entire world will become one with me. And you are going to help me achieve it. <gasps> the nukes. You're counting on them causing a breach of devastating proportions. Then the heat will disperse you across the planet. It's perfect. You came up with it. I can still stop you. Come on, Rubber. Get up. You're right, Rubber. Stand up. Because if you don't, the entire world will end. Whoa. Those are some gnarly effects. But, uh, who are you? The name's Steven, but you probably know me as SCP-507. 507, the Dimension Hopper. Oh man, I must have done it this time. Even the Dimension Hopper is here. He has no control over his own teleportation. One time, I was talking to him and suddenly, poof, he was gone, just like that. Then I bumped into him later, but that was another version of him. Anyway, he only shows up when the world's gonna end. Not gonna lie, it's a terrible situation. But for now, we gotta move. Yeah, shoo, shoo. Ugh, these things are gross. Can't believe they were squirming inside my body for God knows how long. Blech. And it keeps adapting and evolving. It only gets stronger from here. That's my fault, apparently. <laughs> I just wanted some strawberry jam is all. What's done is done. You're gonna have to accept your mistake and get over that guilt quickly. There's not a lot of time left. Warning, T minus 30 minutes until impact. T minus 30 minutes until impact. I thought we had more time. Yeah, that's my fault. <laughs> time acts differently when I'm around. Buzz off. We're having a conversation here. Like I was saying, it's terrible, but you can still save the day. Besides, I owe you one for saving me. It's just that it hasn't happened in this dimension yet. Warning. T minus 23 minutes until impact. Please evacuate to a minimum of five kilometers away for your safety. Great. I've just destroyed the world. Well done, Rubber. Well done. Ow! What was that for? You need to get over this pity party and start thinking. What's the point? This place is about to get nuked. Not only will 610 get out and spread its tentacly wings, but all the other crazy overpowered monsters we keep here as well. Even if I do manage to stop the launch, how in the world do I stop 610? I don't know, but you were bonded to it. You were a part of it, and it was a part of you. So think, Rubber, think! Yes, you shared your inner thoughts with it, but it goes both ways. It's also shared itself with you. So look deep down and think. Did you see or learn anything about its fears or weaknesses? Hmm. I see. A large door that we avoided. We felt fear, like it wasn't safe to approach it. Which is kind of weird considering it's marked safe for entry. I mean, there's nothing in there. Just a vast, empty, snowy landscape. I think I got it. Okay, so I just need to get to the facility and open the door to stop 610, then call off the nukes. And I can do all of that from the control room. The only problem is the sea of parasitic fleshies that wants to absorb me in all life between here and the control room. I can help with that. I'll drop you off just outside the control room. If I do anything beyond that, I'd be interfering too much and the space-time continuum would go kaput. Plus, I can only jump two more times. After that, I'm gone. Will I ever see you again? If the fates will it. Hmm, it sounded way cooler in my head. Anyway, remember, you're gonna be short on time. I know it's cool, but no more monologuing. 
Don't worry, I got this. Now, let's go deal with this mess. Ugh, this place is even more of a mess. Well then, good luck, Rubber. I believe in you. Warning, T minus seven minutes until impact. Man, these speakers always be breaking bad news in some way, shape, or form. How about something nice for a change? Like free pizza for all Foundation personnel, or the world decides to stop ending. Yeah, wouldn't that be dandy? Warning, T minus- Never mind. Easy now. Don't want to jump the gun. Oh, great. And also, yuck. Here he is. The one who empowered us. The one who gave us the path to salvation. You're welcome? The same one who rejected us. Who hurt us. The one who burned us with cold fire. The light that must be smothered. Oh, shut up, will ya? I can't deal with all the hate stuff again. Hate? You have no understanding of it. You caught but only a glimpse of my hate of all life. I am made up of trillions upon trillions of cells. If the word hate were etched into each cell, it would not equal one, but merely one trillion of the disgust and anguish I feel by life at this micro-instant. I am the only solution to the problem of life. I will take life into myself and submit it to hell. I am the anti-life. I will... Yeah, no monologuing. Sorry. And die. Take this. Catch. Charge! Okay, let's see. Option one, select. Option two, designation safe. Option three, door open. If you won't join me, I will you. Warning, T minus 20 seconds until impact. I know your secret. The snowy beyond isn't your only fear. You also fear me. Attention, nuclear launch aborted. Nuclear launch aborted. Oh, and uh, wear a jacket. I gave you the plan and stopped it in the end. So long, SCP-610. Achoo. That's a Keter level incident on the day of the audit. How convenient. <clears throat> While this was indeed a rather unfortunate incident, I do believe we acquired something useful out of it. Oh, pray tell. Rubber's blood test results returned. According to Dr. Charles Ambrose's report, Rubber did get infected and was even partially assimilated by SCP-610. However, despite being integrated into the flesh mound, Rubber was not made part of it. Any reason stated? Inconclusive. So either 610 threw him up for reasons unknown, or Rubber miraculously fought off the infection on his own. I just watched what I can only describe as a B-rated sci-fi movie of the week. If that's the case, then Rubber is either a cosmic threat or extremely limited in his reach. Which is it? If I may, it might be wise to use a little espionage. I have an asset off-site, Abel's brother. SCP-073, or Kane, formerly murderous brother of Abel, turned self-help guru. Polite and charming, that one. He's someone Rubber would confide in. Hmm. Continue. 
We can have it infiltrate the site and get close to rubber using his charm. Then report back to us periodically with the information it collected. And should anyone try anything against Kane, he won't die. All damage done to him will simply be deflected. Hmm. Yes, I quite like that idea. All in agreement. Motion carried. Let's dispatch your asset and see what it can learn from the inside. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Have a favorite SCP you want to see on this channel? Leave us your suggestions in the comments down below. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more SCP content, then check out some of our other videos right here. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye!